Hi, I'm Joe Hope. I'm a professor of physics at the Research School of Physics at ANU. And we had sustained and fairly dramatic success flipping our program at the tertiary level. I started Meristem to help share those similar kinds of resources with secondary teachers to help them flip their classrooms. Flipping is where instead of the teacher standing in front of the class talking most of the time and then the students go home to do their homework where they actually work on the material, we do it the other way around where the students learn the material for the first time at home in their own time and then when they come to class they're doing things, they're asking questions and participating in activities with help from the teacher. This is a better use of class time. Instead of class being like a TED talk where the teacher does a command performance and everyone sits quietly, it's more like the students do the TED talk at home and then the class is like going backstage and talking to the teacher, asking questions, getting help, doing activities with one-on-one -on -one attention. I tried flipping because I wanted a more active classroom. Research is conclusive. It shows that active classrooms give better student engagement. They give better performance in exams. They give better equity of outcomes for minority groups. They give reduced fail rates and they give better performance in subsequent courses even. When I tried it in Phys 3001 for the first time, I was surprised how well it worked for me. The average exam performance went up by an entire grade. And then when I did it again the next year and made some changes, it went up even higher. And then five of my colleagues who tried similar versions also saw the same kinds of improvement. For a teacher, flipping isn't easy. Instead of going through explanations that you've done many times before, you have to coach individual students throughout your class. And every student, of course, has their own individual questions and their own individual ideas. And so it keeps you on your toes. For a student, it's also a big challenge. You're often used to being quite passive, but in this case, you have to work on problems and you have to engage with the material and that's harder but it's when the learning happens. And so it's a big change but there are also huge benefits. To get those benefits takes a little while, sometimes it can feel a little unfamiliar at first and at the tertiary level we've often found that to be the case. Students are, have a bit of trouble, they're trying to engage, but often by the end of the course they really understand yes I really learned a lot out of this and certainly their performance in the tests is dramatically better. As a parent, there are two things that you can do to really help your child engage with the material. The first is obvious. It's make sure they're setting aside some time to actually do the homework. This is where they're learning the material for the first time, and so they need to actually do it. On the plus side, the videos are actually quite short. There's not a lot of material to go through each week. But the second part is very important. It doesn't just matter that they do it, it matters how they do it. Encourage them to actually be active. Encourage them to study. Encourage them to take notes. Not just take notes about what was said, but to ask questions. Encourage them to look up things, re-watch videos that they didn't understand, and really take control over that and ownership of that learning process. And that will really help them get a valuable experience when they turn up to class prepared.